the group which belong to the tumors of uncertain histogenesis includes synovial sarcoma, alveolar soft part sarcoma, granular cell tumor, epithelial sarcoma, clear cell sarcoma, and desmoplastic small round cell tumor. The synovial sarcoma is grouped with soft tissue tumor and comprises of about 10% of all soft tissue sarcomas. Uh, despite its name, it is neither arise from or nor it shows any synovial differentiation. It got this name as first case of the synovial sarcoma arose in soft tissue near the uh, knee joint which led to the presumptive relation uh, of this lesion with the synovium. However, this lesion can be present in location that lack synovium. So, uh, we can define this entity as a highly malignant soft tissue tumor characterized by the translocation between chromosome X and 18. Uh, they may arise anywhere in the body but are commonly located in the deep soft tissues near joint tendon sheet or joint capsule. The, the lesion is present uh, between uh, in the, in the, is present in the patient between the age of uh, 20 to 40 and uh, it's a deep seated mass that has been present for several years. Knee, ankle, shoulder and hip are affected but uh, these tumors can also be seen in neck, anterior abdominal cavity, retroperitoneum, mediastinum, blood vessels and nerves. Some cases of this synovial sarcoma are also reported in oral cavity, salivary gland, lung, gastrointestinal tract, kidney, prostate and vulva. More than 90% cases of the synovial sarcoma are associated with the translocation between chromosome X and 18. Uh, the SS18 gene is fused with SSX gene. The SS18 gene was previously known as SYT gene. The fusion of these two genes will result in the production of a chimeric protein which interferes with the normal chromatin remodeling. There is uh, the uh, repositioning of the nucleosome on the chromatin that influences the gene expression is disturbed and uh, there are three types of the chimeric protein are present usually SSX18, SSX1 which is the uh, commonest one present about two thirds of the cases and uh, it is present it, it is uh, morphologically presented as a biophysic pattern and the SS18 SSX2 gene or uh, chimeric protein uh, is uh, associated with the better prognosis and in this variety the morphology is monophosphasic while the SS18 SSX4 uh, protein is a rare one there is expression of TL, TLE1 transcription factor or uh, transducin like enhancer protein 1 uh, is uh, also associated with this uh, synovial sarcoma. This TLE1 or transducin like enhancer protein is a transcription factor which is associated with cell fate determination. It is a characteristic and may account for the dual epithelium and mesenchymal differentiation in synovial sarcoma. The transducin like enhancer protein is a uh, co repressor that inhibits wind signaling, hence, affect the differentiation. This picture is describing the uh, gross appearance of the synovial sarcoma which is a circumscribed round to multilobular mass attached to the tendon, tendon sheet or exterior wall of the joint capsule. These nodules can be a, a small or uh, masses of about 15 cm or uh, maybe more in diameter. The average size is about 3 to 5 cm. The, uh, the tumor is surrounded by a glistening pseudocapsule 
and uh, and in some instances it uh, may become cystic in uh, appearance there may be areas of hemorrhage necrosis and calcification this is a deep seated synovial sarcoma involving periosteum of the femur it is a well circumscribed firm grayish pink uh, lesion with foci of calcification the synovial sarcoma on histology is uh, characterized by two patterns one is monophasic pattern and one another is the biphasic pattern the monophasic pattern of the synovial sarcoma consists of the uniform spindle cells with scant cytoplasm and dense chromatin arranged in short tightly packed fascicles and they give characteristic school of fish appearance in which the cells are arranged haphazardly and uh, uh, parallel to each other the biphasic pattern of this uh, synovial sarcoma uh, represent as uh, fluid filled glandular spaces which are lined by epithelial like tumor cells and these epithelial like uh, tumor cell lined glandular spaces are embedded in a sarcomatous spindle cell background the both these two elements vary in proportion distribution and cellular differentiation with the spindle cell usually considerably more numerous than the glandular element in both type the calcification may be seen and uh, the tumor cells are positive for the cytokeratin and epithelial membrane antigen on immunohistochemistry this photomicrograph is showing the school of fish appearance of the monophasic pattern of the synovial sarcoma there are swirling fascicles of plump spindle shaped cells with monomorphic hyperchromatic nuclei this is the high power view of the uh, same uh, monophasic synovial sarcoma which is more clearly showing the swirling fascicles of a spindle plump spindle cells the presence of uh, uh, mast cell in the monophasic uh, synovial sarcoma is an important diagnostic clue for the synovial sarcoma and these uh, are stained by toluidine blue this photomicrograph is showing the characteristic biphasic appearance of the synovial sarcoma uh, which is showing the gland like space lined by the malignant cell and on the upper left side of this photomicrograph there is a spindle cell population sometimes these glandular spaces which are lined by the uh, malignant cells they uh, exhibit uh, proteinaceous material within the lumen while uh, you can see that uh, there is abundance of the spindle cells in the background the biphasic pattern is characterized by epithelial and mesenchymal sarcomatous component but these terms are descriptive only they are not reflecting the histogenesis of these cells this uh, photomicrograph is showing the synovial sarcoma with an adenocarcinoma like appearance of the epithelial component in synovial sarcoma there can be associated hyalinization calcification or osseous metaplasia uh, when there is heavy calcification present it is termed as calcifying synovial sarcoma this is the radiological appearance of uh, uh, calcifying synovial sarcoma in the popliteal space so this is the uh, synovial sarcoma which is showing the calcifying lesion within this uh, biphasic pattern so this is term is uh, calcifying synovial sarcoma and uh, the osteoid and bone formation can be so extensive that uh, it obscure the true nature of the tumor sometimes the recurrence rate for the synovial sarcoma is high 
the sick more than 60% cases metastasize and uh, they go to the lung and uh, regional lymph node in 15% of the cases the treatment of this uh, lesion is limb sparing surgery and high dose of radiation therapy uh, and the 5 year survival varies between 25 to 62% and it is dependent on uh, variety of uh, factors one is the calcification if uh, there is calcification the prognosis is good and survival is uh, about 80% and the prognosis is good in younger age if uh, uh, it is located distally it is the prognosis is better the prognosis is better if the size is less than 5 cm and surgical margins are free the mitosis is also another factor for the uh, prognosis if the migros my, the mitosis are less than 15 per high power field it is associated with good prognosis if necrosis is present it is associated with worse prognosis presence of rhabdoid cell disadherent expression and uh, aneuploid tumors are associated with worse prognosis also the synovial chondrosarcoma is a rare entity closely resembles with the synovial uh, chondromatosis grossly and radiologically uh, the obvious histological features of malignancy are seen on uh, biopsy while the morphologically this lesion has a more expensive quality than the usual uh, synovial osteochondromatosis the undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma or the old term malignant fibrous sister cytoma is the diagnosis of exclusion. Uh, this uh, malignant fibrous sister cytoma was considered as a malignant soft tissue tumor with fibrous, uh, fibroblastic and uh, histocytic differentiation. But uh, the microscopic appearance of uh, the same malignant fibrous sister cytoma was seen in a group of sarcobas that were uh, generally classified as undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcomas when immunohistochemistry ultrastructural studies and uh, various genomic studies applied to these uh, undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma <coughs> it revealed that uh, they have got the pleomorphic variants of uh, liposarcoma, leomyosarcoma or rhabdomyosarcoma and uh, a small proportion among these uh, undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma they remain unclassifiable and represent the most primitive undifferentiated form of sarcoma it is important to classify these tumors because of variation in prognosis the undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma may arise at any age but the peak age for this uh, tumor is above 40 years the histogenesis uh, of this tumor they arise from the primitive mesenchymal cells which are capable of differentiating toward both fibroblastic and histocytic cell lineage and uh, they arise from the deep fascia or within the skeletal muscles of the lower limb they are frequently associated with sur surgical scars foreign bodies and after radiation treatment they have got a complex karyotype and uh, several oncogenes may play a role in the pathogenesis of this tumor including cess tp53 rb1 and cdkn2a they 
begin as a painless enlarging mass generally in relation to the skeletal muscle deep fascia or subcutaneous tissue and uh, grossly they are usually unencapsulated gray white or tan tumor that may have areas of hemorrhage and necrosis this is the gross picture of a cut surface of a soft tissue tumor that is arising a in close relation with a skeletal muscle and uh, the cut surface is showing lobulation the tumor is uh, circumscribed the cut surface is gray white fleshy and there are areas of hemorrhage and necrosis present this is another soft tissue tumor that is arising within the muscle tissue and uh, this is showing that uh, there are areas of cystic change and necrosis within this soft tissue tumor various morphological patterns in the uh, these uh, malignant fibrous cystocytoma or undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma are seen the these uh, are characterized by presence of areas of spindle shaped cell that are arranged in irregular world or story form pattern with uh, adjacent to the fields with bizarre pleomorphic cells the spindle cells they tend to be better differentiated and often show focal fibroblastic features while mitoses are abundant there are some tumors which have got inflammatory cells and these inflammatory cells are benign in nature or they there can be xanthomatic cell dendritic cell or histocytic cell and a moderate chronic inflammatory reaction sometimes there is presence of tumor giant cell and these tumor giant cell exhibit intense cytoplasmic eosinophilia collagen deposition varies and uh, sometimes it dominates all other features of the tumor a necrosis can be abundant but present often sometimes tumor may undergo mesomatous change and when immunohistochemistry or ultrastructural studies are done it uh, successfully establishes a line of differentiation toward the smooth muscle skeletal muscle adipose tissue or uh, other soft tissue elements if by special studies there is no such differentiation established the tumor is termed as undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma this is an anaplastic uh, tumor and this is showing there are aggregates of uh, spindle cells plump polygonal cells and scattered inflammatory cells which are chronic inflammatory cells and some tumor giant cells are also present these are the features of undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma and the similar morphology can be seen in pleomorphic liposarcoma pleomorphic rhabdomyosarcoma or leiomyosarcoma so it should be differentiated on the basis of immunohistochemistry and other studies the illustration on the left is summarizing the features morphological features of undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma these are tumor giant cell pleomorphic tumor cells histocyte like tumor cells mitotic figures and spindle shaped cells which are arranged in a story form pattern this story form pattern is more prominent on the in this uh, photomicrograph which is present on left while the photomicrograph on the right is uh, showing numerous giant cells 
and marked pleomorphisms of the cell. The prognosis of the undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma depends on the degree of cytological atypia, the extent of mitotic activity, the degree of necrosis, depth of location and size of the tumor. If there is more cytological atypia or more cellular pleomorphism and increased mitotic activity with increased necrosis and the tumor is lying deeply and this tumor is very large in size all these are associated with bad prognosis the recurrence is about 50 percent and may present with lung metastasis the survival five-year survival for the undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma ranges between 30 to 50 percent the radiation induced sarcoma is an entity which uh, may occur in less than 1% of the people who receive radiation for some tumor and it is a form of adult undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma that arises in bone or soft tissue usually 10 to 20 years after radiotherapy for a malignancy in that particular field. An example of this is the development of osteosarcoma of a rib or vertebral body uh, which is not a common site for this uh, osteosarcoma and if there is associated history of the uh, radiation to the thorax for the treatment of mediastinal lymphoma or breast cancer. The alveolar soft part sarcoma is a histologically distinct slow growing malignant tumor of uncertain histogenesis that may affect any age but usually affect children and young adults and uh, it affects the deep tissue of the extremities along the musculofacial plane or within the skeletal muscle. Grossly, it is a well demarcated yellowish and firm lesion which uh, microscopically is characterized by presence of alveolar pattern. There are organoid masses of tumor cells which are separated by fibrovascular septi. The tumor cells are large and regular and contain abundant eosinophilic granular cytoplasm which contain diastase resistant PS positive material and the features distinguish the tumor from paraganglioma with which it closely resembles. Genetically there is translocation between chromosome X and 17 and genetic abnormality that is TFE3 ASPL fusion gene. On the left this is the gross picture of the alveolar soft part sarcoma which is characterized by the presence of a yellowish multinodular relatively well circumscribed tumor that is embedded within a skeletal muscle while on the right this is the photomicrograph of the alveolar soft part sarcoma which is characterized by alveolar pattern and uh, these organoid masses of the tumor cells are separated by fibrovascular septi and uh, individual tumor cell is uh, large regular and contain abundant granular eosinophilic material that is periodic acid shift uh, reagent positive material that is resistance to uh, diastase the granular cell tumor is a benign tumor of unknown histogenesis and uh, it also affects uh, younger and uh, middle aged adult more often. The common site is tongue and subcutaneous tissue of trunk and extremities and grossly it is a small firm grey white yellow tin nodular mass. Histologically it is characterized by presence of nest or ribbons of large round or polygonal uniform cells having finely granular acidophilic cytoplasm and a small dense nuclei. The tumor which is located in the skin the uh, that is frequently associated with pseudoepithelomatous hyperplasia of the overlying skin.
the epithelial sarcoma is another tumor of uncertain origin it presents as an ulcer with sinuses often located on the skin and subcutaneous tissue as a small swelling the tumor is slowly growing but it can metastasize the few cases of these epithelial sarcoma are associated with neurofibromatosis and they affect adolescents and young adult they are common on the extremities hands and finger or vulva grossly they are circumscribed nodular masses with central necrosis and histology is characterized by nodules with epithelial appearance having abundant pink colored cytoplasm and center of the nodule show necrosis and this can be misdiagnosed as a granuloma the leftmost picture is showing that these epithelial sarcoma which are located near the dermis simulate a granuloma annulare or rheumatoid nodule the photomicrograph in the middle is showing tightly clustered epithelial tumor cells which are arranged around a central necrotic center and the rightmost photomicrograph micrograph is showing that uh, the tumor is composed of epithelial tumor cells and there is diffuse eosinophilia of these cells the clear cell sarcoma which is also a tumor of uncertain origin is described by in, in ginger and uh, it affects skin and subcutaneous tissue especially skin and subcutaneous tissue of the hands and feet of a young male and uh, histology closely resembles with the malignant melanoma and uh, this clear cell sarcoma is sometimes also called melanoma of the soft tissue genetically it is differentiated from the cutaneous melanoma by translocation that is t1222 and presence of ewsr1 and atf1 gene another member of this uh, tumors of uncertain origin is desmoplastic a small round cell tumor this is a rare and highly malignant tumor which affect male under the age of 20 years and its histogenesis is also unclear and it uh, its common sites are abdomen paratesticular region ovaries parotid brain and thorax they grossly are multiple soft to firm masses and histologically composed of small and round cells having epithelial mesenchymal and neural differentiation they spread rapidly to regional lymph nodes and uh, towards other sites and uh, the desmoplastic small round cell tumor having translocation 1122 and ewsr 1 wt1 fusion gene have particularly poor prognosis